Hi everybody, Jillian here. Welcome back to my channel for a brand new Bible journaling process video. Today I am using the new I Am devotional kit from Illustrated Faith and Dayspring. I've got it linked below if you guys want to go ahead and check it out. I also did an unboxing video if you guys want to see exactly what's included in the kit because I won't use all of the kit contents today, but most of them. So I wanted to do an entry um, with for day one just to show you guys how I kind of plan to use it and um, watch over my shoulder I guess as I'm experimenting with some painting. So you can see that I used three floral or floral and leafy stamps to create a little triangle on my page and I'm keeping this entry down to the bottom right hand corner of the page. I'm not going to use the whole margin. And now the devotional for day one is talking about being fearless and uh, Melissa actually has you in 1 John 4, 8 to 18, but I already had some plans for that space in 1 John and I decided to come here into Psalm 27, 1 and journal um, about being fearless here instead. So I have this sped up pretty fast. What I am, am doing is using some acrylic paints. These are just Anita's acrylics from Hobby Lobby and I am I stamped down the image and then I'm painting in the lines with some different colors that kind of match the kit. I just used the paints that I had available. And then what I'm going to do is once they are painted in, I'm going to go ahead and stamp over them again um, so that the color kind of looks like it's peeking out from underneath the stamped image. And I really just did kind of look at the beautiful artwork that's included with this kit and I tried to replicate it. So once I had all the painting done, I hit that with my heat tool so that I could stamp on top of it right away and I had to put my face down in here so I can make sure that the lines lined up properly. And I did a pretty good job of stamping over the already stamped image. The one flower on the left missed a little bit but I still think it turned out really cool. So it was really fun to try this technique since I am not a painter, or at least I'm not good at painting things. <laughs> it was really fun to be able to have the stamps help me with the painting and kind of guide me. So I'm outlining the verse here and Psalm 27 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? So. This entry is a little reminder for me. Uh, sometimes I need a heart check about this because my life has been marked by a couple long battles with fear and anxiety. The most recent one manifested itself physically with chronic headaches and digestive problems. Um, I hope that's not TMI, but I'm talking months of like daily headaches. Um, and when I look back at that time, it's so sad to me to think about how much time I squandered living with constant fear. And to me, that's just what fear is it's a waste of time. And of course there's useful fear like when you're standing on the roof of a tall building and maybe you don't get near the edge because you don't want to fall. Um, but I'm talking about the fear that the enemy leverages as a distraction for God's children because really how much light shining and kingdom building did I do when I wasn't feeling good? And so I really like what Melissa says in the devotional here for day one, whatever you are carrying out of fear, I'd ask you today to give it up. Don't walk around with it anymore, allowing it to weigh you down and squelch your dreams. And then she goes on to say, talking about the verses in 1 John, that the living God who resides in us is love defined and love cannot coexist with fear. In fact, it drives it out. So we possess the very thing we need to extinguish the fear that we are battling. And then she encourages us to find our own freedom from fear today and then asks a couple of great prompt questions. And so the thing that I'm journaling here in the margin says, God is bigger and more powerful than anything I could be afraid of. Being fearful is a waste of time. God is not wringing his hands nervously. He is in control of all things and my trust is in him. Now I ended up running out of a little bit of room towards the bottom of the page and I had to remove the washi tape that I had originally put down, but it wasn't a big deal. I was able to move it over just a smidge. I'm also using this copper washi. I think it's from one of those Create 365 like planner washi tubes. I've got it linked below. I thought about using some word fetty to kind of um, add another sentiment to the page next to the fearless. And I thought about putting it over these branches because they were just kind of hanging out there. But when I put all three pieces down, they really just covered up too much of it. So I decided instead to use this stamp in this set that says, My trust is in the Lord. 
and I rubbed it on the back of my hand since it's a new stamp to get it a little bit dirty and I'm wiping the excess ink off of the block there I don't know if you could tell but I got a lot of like stray ink on the page and then I just put that along the top and next I'm gonna go ahead and use some Heidi Swap gold color shine I talked in my unboxing video about pulling out my gold leafing um, because I really wanted to incorporate a lot of metallics with this kit and when I tried to play around with that for an entry it really didn't work the way I wanted it to so in the meantime I'm going to use this gold color shine and just tap the nozzle down around the page a little bit to get some spots of gold on the page until I figure out exactly how I want to incorporate the gold leafing into these entries. So that's pretty much it. Here's a finished look at the page along with a close up. If you guys are interested in seeing more of this kit, I've got it linked below. Be sure to check back on Saturday for a brand new video I'm very excited to share with you. And I'll give you more information about it later on in the week. See you later.